Hey, I'm Melanie Kay and I just got back from Marks and Spencers from their food hall and we share this uh, lovely weekly shop with you all but before we start if you're new please do subscribe or if you haven't subscribed already subscribe push that notification bell um, so you don't miss out on any of my posts and I welcome you all um, and thank you for following me on this journey so Marks and Spencers I live on my own if you didn't know that um, I semi eat healthy because I um, have endo and to have endometriosis can cause you a lot of pain if you eat naughty though I do like to eat naughty stuff as well not gonna lie but this week I spent 46 pounds and 23p and I got a seven pound off if I've spent 70 pound in the food hall which is never gonna happen so I should have given that to my mum there we go. Right, we're gonna go through this bag. It's gonna be as random as, I'll try and list everything's price as well. But I kind of stocked up a little bit as well so I didn't have to buy as much every week because um, you have to queue. And I know I shouldn't be complaining, Shannon, because I know it's like minus 54 where you are, but it's minus two here. It's meant to warm up again tomorrow, but it feels freezing for me. So I got so I got two bags of six, well, so I got 12 bags of sweet popcorn only 76 calories per bag so I just thought that's a little bit better so I've got two of them and popcorn is it's two pound each two pounds so two divided by six is that's affordable well I think so anyway then I got Marks and Spencer's ready salted potato chips I got two bags of these because I really like them. I love chipsticks. Um, so, but these you have to divide out so it makes you want, sometimes you eat more than you should. But I got two bags of these because they hardly have them in stock these days. And the potatoes were a pound, uh, the potato sticks were a pound each. Okay, then I got seven bananas, one for every morning. Put that over here. And bananas were, one pound 18 for the total seven okay then this is my bread that i get which is the superseded loaf lasts me just over a week and that is one pound 35 the list is down here by the way okay i i'm hit and miss with pineapple but i got it the other week and it was really nice so i've got some pineapple chunks and the pineapple was two pound okay then for the stir fry deal i really fancied stir fry so i got chicken this was all for six pounds chicken uh, egg fried egg egg noodles rainbow stir fry where's the sauce and sweet chili sauce I got that all for six pounds and that will do two meals total in the noodles and the veg but the chicken will probably do me about four meals so it's not that bad uh, at all then i've got purple sprouted broccoli which in a weird way i prefer to normal broccoli and that was two pound i got four milk chocolate bars they're 180 calories but i've just been craving chocolate recently so i got four of these um and they were 65p each two pounds 65 total and then i got um pr two praline bars because these are 187 calories but i love praline Your girl's got to treat herself this lockdown. These are my breakfast, which I love. I do tend to swap out if they haven't got these, but these are four Belgium chocolate pancakes. I've got two packs because I eat one a day. So two packs of them. And they are £1.65, £1.60 even for for a pack of four. That's not that bad at all, really. Then I got three punnets of raspberries. 
I love, love, love raspberries. Uh, they were £2.50 a, a pack, but I can sit and eat them whilst I work. I just graze off of them, which is really strange, but there we go. I was running out of pasta, so I got Fiorelli. Just if I fancy pasta, it's good an easy meal, so I just, put, I just got that because I'd run out. I know this is really naughty, but it's pancake week coming up for me, and I had this on my pancakes last week as a treat, and it was so good. It's so much better than just like flora. So I got a pot of Nutella. Two pound. It's not normally in there, so I got it whilst it was pancake day. Then I got mozzarella at sticks. This is like a Sunday treat for me. That's kind of what I eat on a Sunday as a treat. Uh, three pounds for them, and I'll probably have them for my dinner tomorrow or like lunch. Um, I just probably mentioned that the freezer's running quite bare, and I'm trying to run it down so that. Um, I can defrost it, but that has got veg in it, so I didn't get much veg, but I got four chicken breast steaks. As I thought, even like for a weekend, if I fancied one of these as like a burgers in a sandwich, that would be really nice. So I got them, and they were chicken strips, okay, £3.60. Then I got four tins of soup. I got two minestrone, which is minestrone soup with orzo pasta and Italian pecorino cheese. I got two tins of them because I'm having a tin a day, but I've got two in there still. Um, and then I've got two tins of chicken noodle soup. Um, and then I'll just put them in the fridge as well. That is all I got. Like, these tins are one pound each and a tin is like one serving, well it is for me. And it's really nice soup. I'm not really, like soup for me is hit and miss. So to find a soup that I really like is really nice for me. And also it's perfect because it is healthy as such, but uh, filling as well and it's warm when I'm staying in here all day for work especially it is freezing so to just be able to wear to ping it out in the microwave have a bit of bread with it it's just really nice and then I just obviously can do whatever on my break but where it's cold in here all day that's what I like to do so that is everything I got that was a total of 46 pounds and 23p because I had a deal on that stir fry um I obviously know that Marks and Spencer's is a little bit more expensive, but it's a small store. They're not letting a lot of people in. We had to queue today for a little while, like the whole length of the car park, which is good. It's bad, but it's good as well because they're not allowing as many people in the store. So for the first day time today, I felt that I could go around freely in the store and not have people trying to get through or like ramming you because they want to get past but you're going so slow because you want to look at something so that was really really good um and also the quality of the food not everything but the quality of most of their foods are just nicer so whilst i've got the money to do so and and i can I, i'm gonna shop there so and also it's just so nice food really and most of it is healthy so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below one thing that is always on your shopping list every week. Um, I do plan to do an Ocado shop because I'm running out of like squash. Um, but I'm just waiting for a time to come available that I can book my slot basically. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.